Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, and uh, today I want to talk about the greatest treasure that one can find. And it is a parable from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 44. It's just verse 44. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. Uh, I have always loved the idea of buried treasure. Uh, one of the reasons I've always enjoyed pirates movies and stories or adventures like Indiana Jones and, um, and all those. It's just kind of this excitement about going to find what is uh, valuable and fun and sparkly. Uh, and then uh, we read that Jesus, too, was a bit of a treasure hunter, but something much more valuable than gold or, or jewels uh, hidden by pirates. The cool part about this, uh, I think, is that this field, this treasure had been there. And this person uh, just got a glimpse of it, just got that that very... Uh, first glance, and he knew it was something so amazing that he had to have it. And so he, everything else in his life, all of his other possessions couldn't compare. So he got rid of all of it, and he went after uh, this treasure. Um, we get a chance to get a glimmer of that kingdom of heaven every day. Uh, we always, a lot of times we think of the kingdom of heaven as only the thing that we're going to experience uh, when, when we die and when we're in, in heaven. Uh, the same goes for eternal life. You know, that's something that's going to happen to us when the life on this earth is over. But that's not really the case. The kingdom of God, the, uh, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, both are used, and eternal life has already begun. We don't know the fullness of it. Uh, we don't. We haven't seen the whole treasure. Uh, you know, maybe we have been looking around the field and we've only seen the very lid of the treasure chest, or we opened the lid and we only saw that first level of of, of the treasure. And when we are uh, when we are done with this life and we are in the next, we will see the fullness of it. But the fact is, we are already experiencing that treasure today. Uh, we get to see the kingdom of heaven every time we experience God's love, every time we experience God's grace. We are experiencing that kingdom of heaven. We get to see it when we uh, encounter people who show us love. Uh, we get to encounter it every time we see people who are sharing the love of God. And what's awesome is that we also get to become the kingdom of heaven to other people when we share God's love with them, when we share what is uh, the, the grace that the Lord has given to us with other people. Uh, to me, this is this is why we're here. Uh, this is this is why we are together is so that way we can be the kingdom of heaven on earth. The kingdom of heaven is not a judgy thing. Um, you know, I, I, I was just telling some people yesterday at our Bible study that I've never understood why any Christian would judge someone who's not a Christian or care at all about how they're living their life. That's never been what we're called to. And when we go out into the world and tell people they're sinners and that they're going to die and that they're going to burn in hell, I've never understood why that would even remotely bring anyone to the love of God. Instead, we're called to show people this, this amazing treasure, this kingdom of heaven. And the way we do that is by looking out at the world who doesn't know love and grace and sharing that with them. That, hey, God loves you exactly how you are, exactly who you are. God is not even asking you to change anything right now. Just 100% get to know the Lord of love. And that means that I love you exactly the way you are. Uh, and that I am not even going to ask you to change. All I'm going to do is love you. Then, after 
you've experienced the heaven, the, the kingdom of heaven, you're going to want more. But that's different. What we're say, what I'm trying to say is when, when we are in, encouraging people to see this, this amazing treasure, you know, let's talk about the really amazing part that transformed our lives. I don't think I am not a follower of Jesus. The thing that, that, that got me to uh, to see grace and, and, and start owning my faith had nothing to do with sin. It had everything to do with love and acceptance. And I think that's true for everybody. So let's go out into the world and show people the true kingdom of heaven. Let us show people the two, true treasure by loving each other and accepting everyone exactly the way they are, because that's the way God accepted us. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you have given us the kingdom of heaven. And we thank you that we are experiencing it here on earth, that we're already starting to see the, the, the beautiful part of this treasure that you've given. Lord, we ask that you help us go out into the world, even if we're in our own homes. Let us go out and show people that true treasure of your love and your grace and your acceptance and help us follow in your path by loving and giving grace and by accepting all the people who come into our lives. In your holy name, amen.